So we want to look at what happens when you, your personal access token has expired. Like for instance here, I'm using the sandbox. I will go to this repo. See if we do git status, the chain, my branches ahead. This is because I created a file that has not been pushed yet so if we do ls this is the new file i've created right so if we try to do git add git commit i'll give my message uh, expired token Oh yeah, this is because I'd already committed, so don't mind that. So now if I do git push, you can see it's telling me, give me password for this, because this is the expired token. As you can see, let me try and make this. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what you can see, but this is the expired token so i'll show you guys what we need to do we need to use keep track of two commands git remote this will be able to tell us the status of our remote repository and then this other one remote set url origin this basically will help us set the origin which is the master branch to the new personal token that we're going to generate so just keep that in mind so here we come and do git remote dash v it will tell us the origin including this which is the retired personal access token so if we come to profile here this is github i'm in settings so i come here uh, personal access token remember we have to use token classic not fine green so token classic let's say generate new token classic yeah so i will sign here because i have the github mobile app just gives you an extra level of security to your account good so once that is done we can create this one and let's say new sun yeah then you know, we want to give it access to the repo and uh, yeah this 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 should be enough but just in case you can give it permission to everything all this just going to tick everything but the repo should be enough so once we do that we generate the token so as you can see this and yeah I'm, I'm going to delete this after so as you can see this is the new token and you must be sure to save it somewhere otherwise it will give you problems if you need to use it again and you, you can't access it so that is the new token right so i come to my sandbox you see that new token is what is going to be here. Remember when we are setting up, uh, when we are setting up our linking to our GitHub using the personal access token, the syntax is git clone, then https slash your personal access token. Say token classic 
and then next is once you put your token classic you add at github.com so let me just reduce this a bit it should be visible at this size yeah so once you have that you know git clone is what does the cloning this part here and then https that and then this section here you should have your personal access token then at github.com slash your username and then the repo name and you must make sure add git at the end so this is what you did earlier on when you're creating your first you're cloning your repo you did this command so now this token here is what has expired so we'll use this command to set the new token so let's proceed to do that so now you come here to your github so what we're just going to change is this so on this command it's git remote set url origin and then new remote url basically so basically this new remote url this part here will be the old link you used when you're cloning but this section will change so here we'll come to my repo and that's why you have this command git remote v it shows you everything so what you can just do is copy this section once you've copied that section you can paste it there so this section here i wonder why it's a link but that's fine so we are going to replace this section here so we delete that then we come here copy the new token i'm taking step by step so that everything is clear so copy that so this is now going to be the new file link and then so we'll come and put that command git remote set url origin then we put in the new remote the new url copy mind you you have to be in that repo here you see we are, have see did change directly into this so i shall now paste there once that is done good so now if we try and git push it works now because we've changed the new repo as you can see so now you see the challenge is when you are cloning and you're using the personal access token each clone you do you've quoted the expired personal access token so unfortunately you'll have to do this for every repo that you have cloned for instance if we go to this other repo uh sorry it's at the roots if we go to this other repo we have cloned the precourse right so you go to the lx system dev so here let's say i create a new file touch okay let me use this so that you just create and put in text uh, to be pushed but we'll pay you so now we have this in a new file let's let me just call it delete file here so if you do ls 
that new file is there this one delete file yeah and if we try to git do git status see it will tell us my branch is up to date yes but there's a file that i've created that is untracked right so if i do git add and git status you can see now this needs to be committed so we proceed do git commit see trying to push with old token so we do that and enter so git commit has been done so we try to do let me clear this so now we try to do git push you see it's giving us the same error so we'll just have to do the same thing again notice to if you press ctrl c it cancels what was being run so when we now do our command you remember you need to know those two very important commands git remote dash v which will tell you the actual name so you can just the the, the the remote address so you can easily just copy that and then change and then this is what you use to set the new using the new token classes so if you do git remote dash v you can see this is the one so i'll just come here copy all this oh sorry yeah uh, you, you can't copy with control c <laughs> it can so you have to do control shift and c of course on the sandbox it's refusing so the best is just to right click then copy then you come here paste right then copy a new token and then replace that so now you can copy this you can as well write this together with the command but i like to write the commands because it helps you remember so you get remote then what you're doing you want to set the url which url the origin and then do that so now you do that and then now we do git push yeah okay it, it's working now but the, the challenge here is because i haven't been using the sandbox i should first do something called git pull skip so it has now pulled everything and then if you do git status and now if we try to do git push it should work so now because i haven't been using my sandbox my github repo had more information than my sandbox so first i had to do git pull to bring everything from my sandbox sorry from github then once everything was here i could now do a git push so that's how you change the personal access token okay remember the most important commands are this this to know the address then this is what you use to set the new repo and of course the key a new personal access token and probably best to always use a personal access token that has uh, no expiry but ultimately the best is to use ssh which is a different story but it makes work much easier so that's that's it